हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड लाइंस द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टीज इज द लाइन ऑफ फोर्स कॉन्टिन्यूस स्मूथ कर विदाउट एनी ब्रेक ओके मीन्स इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड लाइन्स आर ऑलवेज आर कॉन्टिन्यूस कर इट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द पॉजिटिव चार्ज एंड एंड टू द निगेटिव चार्ज एंड देर इज नो एनी ब्रेक इन बिटवीन द पाथ सेकेंड प्रॉपर्टी द लाइन ऑफ फोर्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द पॉजिटिव चार्ज एंड एंड एट द निगेटिव चार्ज दे कैन नॉट फॉर्म क्लोज लूप इफ देर इज अ सिंगल चार्ज देन लाइन ऑफ फोर्स विल स्टार्ट और एंड एट इन्फिनिटी means if there is a pair of the charges means one is positive second is negative charge then electric field line will start from the positive charge and ends to the negative charge and if there is a single charge then electric field line will start from it and it will end to the infinity third property the tangent to a line of force at any point gives the direction of the electric field at that point suppose the electric field line like this and we want to know the direction of the electric field at the point p in that case we will draw the tangent at the point p and this tangent will give the direction of the electric field at the point p now the fourth property no two lines of force can cross each other it is very important property two line suppose that there is a two electric field lines and they will never cross each other okay but suppose if they will cross each other at the point p then corresponding to the point p we can draw the two tangents corresponding to the each curve curve 1 and curve 2 and it will represents the two direction of electric field at one point and you are knowing that the two direction of the electric field at the single point is not possible that's why two electric field lines will never cross each other it is very very important property now property number 5 the line of force is are always normal to the surface of the conductor on which the charge are in the equilibrium suppose there is any surface and here the charges are in the equilibrium then electric field line will will always the normal to the surface why it is normal to the surface because suppose if they are not normal they are making at any angle then we can resolve it into the two components if this is angle theta then it will be e cos theta and it will be e sin theta the e cos theta this component due to the this component the electrons present in the surface will start move and start making the current in the surface and you are knowing it there is no current in the equilibrium that's why this is not possible always the field lines are normal to the surface property number 6 the line of force have tendency to contract lengthwise this explains the attraction between the two unlike charges suppose there is a positive charge and there is a negative charge from the positive charge the electric field lines starts and from the negative charge the electric field lines ends so these lines when meet along the length then it will join it will attract each other okay this shows the force of attraction between the unlike charges property number 7 the line of force have tendency to expand laterally so as to exert a lateral pressure on the neighboring line of force this explains the repulsion between the two similar charges suppose there are two charges positive and positive the electric field line will start from the positive and it always start from the positive 
so if they will meet like this in this direction then they will repel each other they will tending to go away from each other and will bend like this so it is it is showing the repulsion between the two like charges property number 8 the relative closeness of the line of force gives a measure of the strength of the electric field in any region suppose there is a charge and electric field line will start from the unit uh, isolated charge like this you can see in this region the electric field lines are close to each other that's why in this re region the electric field will be strong and in this region you can see the electric field lines are uh, far from the each other so here the electric field will be weak and if the electric field lines are equidistant and parallel to each other then this represent the uniform electric field okay means the place where the electric field lines are close to each other that will be the place of high electric field and where the they are far from each other there will be the weak electric field and if they are parallel and equidistant then it represents the uniform electric field property number 9 the line of force do not pass through a conductor because electric field inside the conductor Uh, is zero suppose this is a conductor so if we charge the conductor then the charges are localized at the surface of the conductor and electric field will start from it electric field lines will start from it but inside the conductor electric field is zero that's why no electric field lines are inside the conductor okay so thank you very much